the government should justify why after five to ten years these documents could possibly uh, hold anything which you as a public don't uh, deserve to know. I would say it's the opposite. You do deserve to know what went on in Afghanistan ten years ago. There's nothing secret about it and we need an open trial um, but at the moment it's not. And um, the former Secretary of Defence has come out and said, oh, well, we need to protect our secrets. The Americans won't give us secrets if we don't protect uh, But that's a smokescreen. There are no secrets. Um, there's, there's shame. You know, if we kill our own soldiers, if we experiment on them illegally, if we bug officers of other countries for oil companies, um, that's not a secret. That's a crime. Uh, and we don't cover up crimes. The best possible outcome is, is I get acquitted, um, but also uh, some action is taken against um, the relevant Defence Minister, who was Stephen Smith, uh, and those senior generals who were uh, his enablers. I might fail, but I'll be happy in jail if I've tried. So was prison sentence they could possibly... I think it's 60 years, and uh, so that's the rest of my life. If you're acquitted, what should happen to the government regarding this? I think there needs to be charges, uh, and I think we don't really need an ICAC. We need to put one minister in jail and one lobbyist, and I reckon you wouldn't need an ICAC. They're not exactly brave people. Um, and once you, uh, you realise that you are not above the law, just because you work in Parliament, uh, everybody can follow us. And we chase people for not paying, uh, you know, cab charges in this country. We've got to kind of reverse seriousness, and yet we don't chase people who absolutely trash the country. The damage the witness case scenario did to Australia's reputation overseas is enormous. We are, as far as they are concerned, we are a nation of thieves and liars.